What's going on everybody, Wacko Backo here. I'm finally cracking into this Elite Trainer Box. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to get these, but finally got them in. Uh, I have a second one on standby, may keep it sealed, and may open it, I haven't decided yet. But uh, yeah, so finally gonna be able to open this up and add it to the wall. But unfortunately, uh, you know, after the end of this week, I'll be taking the wall down just for the time being. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am in the process of moving. Um, so I'm trying to get all my videos knocked out early this week. So I can finish packing everything up, but this would be like one of the last things I, I break down. <sighs> it's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, you know, you just gotta move on sometimes. And uh, don't worry, I'm still making content, I'm not ending the channel or anything, but uh, I'm just moving to a different location. So if the, <clears throat> if the audio sounds a little weird, it sounds a little echoey, it's because there's less and less stuff in here every day. So anyway, just want to put it out there. I want to crack into this so bad, especially because, uh, again, it's Fusion Strike. I haven't opened up a lot of it. And it's another ETB. Um, so yeah, super excited. Plus, you know, for all the other cards that I need sleeves already, I'll finally have the sleeves out of this. So super excited about that. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys have a good start to your week already. Um, I know Mondays are always a pain, but uh, just gonna make the best of it and just keep working towards your days off. So here we go. Let's slide this off here. I really, really like the color pattern on these. And that design looks absolutely amazing. Let's flip it over. Yeah, so they did, just like the other ones, you have small mew on one side and the big one here. I'd probably put big one there. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. Um, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out when I move stuff around, but uh, I wanna keep adding to this. So I don't know, you guys tell me where you think I should add it. Maybe up here, maybe over here, I, I don't know. But anyway, Fusion Strike. You guys have seen this book already. Um, it's got all the great pulls in it and all the awesome stuff, but uh, if I was to look at other chase cards, because I already pulled my chase card for this set. So if you guys didn't see it, I already pulled that Gengar VMAX, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, so let's see, next chase card. Let's see. Um, hmm. Probably that Full Art Mew. I mean, the alternate art is amazing, but that Full Art Mew would be nice. That kind of looks like the one from Legendary Treasures. Um, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll take any of those other... Uh, secret rare alternate arts, that'd be sick. Plus the, the gold energies are nice. Anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Like I said, you guys have seen that stuff before. Uh, I'm definitely late to the game and opening up the ETB, but it's all right. So take this off here. Ooh, really cool pattern on there, a little trippy. That, that's probably freaking somebody out, sorry. Um, that's really, really awesome, I like that. Move that off to the side. We have our rule book there, which is really, really nice. I have the code, which I'll save till a little bit later. Here's the sleeves, this I've been waiting for. Very, very nice. Again, same pattern as all the other stuff, but uh, all right, let's see anything else. Yes, yeah, so we have these. These dividers actually look really, really cool. I like when they do two completely different sides, so obviously it's the same one, but uh, no, I think that turned out really, really nice. Now uh, let's look at the die real quick. I always like how they do the six-sided die, like translucent. Uh, that one turned out really, really nice. But here's what we've been waiting for here, all these Fusion Strike packs. Very, very awesome there. Super excited for that. Let me get this out of the way here. Let me set up Big Mew on the backdrop. There we go, just so you guys kind of have an idea how it's going to look in the background whenever I reset it up. I'm going to shuffle these around a little bit, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's only eight packs, but uh, all right, there we go. So here we go, Fusion Strike Elite Trainer Box. Let's try our luck and let's see if we can get some other huge pulls. All right. So code card should be spin around like that. There we go, I'm learning. I've opened this up enough times now. All right, four to the front. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get here. Starting off with Sand Slash, and we have a Swadloon, and then the Cram-O-Matic. Sounds like me packing everything here, just cramming stuff into boxes. We have Onyx, Choodle, Shroomish, Klefki. Then we have Trubbish, Mawile as the reverse, and a Corviknight, non-holo rare. All right. Not the best start, but it's all right. We still have a bunch more packs to get through, and uh, it's nice to just be opening up another ETB, so I can't really complain. Um, I think it's kind of funny because it's just in time. Uh, this week should be the official release of the brand new set, Brilliant Stars, and I'll have that ETB coming in as well. I thought ahead, and I'm not shipping it here because I'm worried about it coming in late, so uh, I'm having it shipped to the new location. Super excited about that, and obviously when that comes in, we'll get some content out for that as well. I think I got, um, I want to say I ordered a bunch of single sleeve blisters as well, because that's one of my favorite things to open up initially. So whenever those come in, we'll crack into those as well. 
All right, so we have Klefki as the reverse and behind that, nice, Bolton V, very, very nice. Really good to see an ultra rare two packs in, and that is card number 103 of 264. Uh, another humongous set, but uh, I was looking the other day, because obviously I try to keep up with English and Japanese. Uh, I wish I could open up more Japanese sets, but uh, I was looking the other day and the, uh, what is it, like Start 100, I think that's the name of the set. It's all like little, uh, like individual boxes, but if you look at the set as a whole, and again, I know it's like a humongous set, but it is now the largest set if you count it in its entirety. It's over 440 cards, so the Japanese sets are still taking the lead on massive sets. Um, we'll probably see an English set over 300 cards eventually, but uh, yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. I was looking through, I was like, how many cards are in this set? All right, so we have Croconaz, the reverse, and an Oracorio Fusion Strike. Yeah, I saw that, just thought I'd mention it because um, I'm always looking into, you know, what's the biggest sets of all time and what has like the most secret rares and all that. And um, I know I'm behind on Japanese sets mainly because they're expensive uh, and they've like almost tripled in price since... Uh, I kind of stopped buying them, which is unfortunate, but uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just get some in just to keep them from my sealed collection. Maybe I'll get back into uh, opening them again once I get an actual job, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe this year will turn up well for us, and uh, like I said, maybe I could start getting into Japanese openings again. Galarian Perzerker as the reverse, an awesome artwork there, and behind it is a Galarian Opsigun Hollow. Very nice. I don't think I had that one yet, so gladly take that. All right, about halfway through this ETB. Now, if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, we are slowly on the grind to 100, or 1,000 1, subs, 100 subs is a while ago. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're on our way there. We're over 600 now, and I am planning on the celebration video for that along with the two year anniversary. I think I'm just gonna mesh, mesh them together because they're both so close. Um, but don't worry, it's still going to be an awesome opening. But uh, yeah, I think this year's the year where we're going to hit a thousand. I mean, we're at a great pace so far, and everyone out there's been really, really supportive. It's been awesome. So let's see how far we can get. Genghis Khan as the reverse, and a Huntail fusion. I don't think I've seen this one yet, but pretty cool artwork. Um, but uh, yeah, so again, we have some other great openings coming this week. Um, just trying to, again, I'm gonna knock them all out as early as I can, and then obviously post them in normal times, just so I could finish packing everything up, and uh, I don't know, I may have to sell the table that all this is sitting on. I really don't want to, but I don't really have the room or the capacity to take it with me. Uh, and then I have a bunch of other like matching, like end tables and a coffee table that fits it, so I may just sell it all together, but uh, I don't know, I have a lot to do this week. Uh, Volby is a reverse and nice for Alligator Hollow. Haven't pulled this yet either, so very, very nice there. That's number 57 of 264. Good, good, good. I like pulling cards that I haven't got yet. It's always slowly chipping away at the set. Let's see if we can get at least one more ultra rare. We got this pack and one more to go. Um, but yeah, it's nice to finally have this ETB knocked out. And like I said, right in time for the next set to come out. Um, but yeah. Here we go. I'm going to do my best to keep up with the next set, especially because, uh, and again, I haven't looked at the set list or anything, but I'm anticipating it being a huge set. So I want to try and get as much as I can and do as many openings as I can. Grand Bull as the reverse is looking out into the sunlight there is really, really nice. And behind it is a Genghis Khan throwing kicks. All right. Getting into the last pack of this ETB. Again, I think we've done all right so far. We got at least one ultra rare and two hollows, but uh, let's see what we can end off with here. All right, flip this around. There we go. Last code for you. And here we go. And it's kind of crazy to think this time next week I won't be in this place anymore. I've been here for like three years. Um, but it's all right. You got to move on and, you know, there's bigger and better things ahead of me. So, all right, let's see what we're going to end off with here. A Blissey. Wait, hold on. That was... Okay, yeah. I don't know why I thought... I made my brain's not working. But yeah, Blissey, that's a rare one. Okay, got it. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't pulled this card yet, so... Good to see that. Even though it's non hollow I'll still take it. I don't know why my brain just kind of blanked right there. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this ETB. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Again, we got the Galarian Obstagoon and that Feraligator Hollow, two hollows I didn't have. Plus, we got that Bolton V. 
So not too bad. Again, out of eight packs, I'll gladly take it. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned. Like I said, we have some other great openings coming this week as we get closer and closer to the brand new set dropping on Friday. That's going to do it for me, guys. I'm Wacko Vacco. Take it easy.